Good day, the state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Sons of Western Armenia, Edgar Markusian, on the issue of the Armenians of Western Armenia, the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe adopted a resolution ensuring free saving drive Roberto, inauguration of a Hachkar, their Simhai platform, we will protect our cultural heritage and nature. Baku authorities turned the Church of the Holy Ascension into a mosque. Cosmonaut Harutyun Kivirian in Armenia, the memory of the genocide against Armenia is very important. Edgar Markosian was born in 1997 in the city of Harazdan, Kotaik region, into a family of Anahit Seribekian, a teacher, and Edward Markosian, an engineer. Sergeant Edgar Markosian fought fiercely from the first minutes of the war, but told his family that they stayed in shelters and did not participate in the fighting. Tall, strong, and with thick arms, we often describe heroes. However, extraordinary courage, strength, and heroism can also be found in a small body. Sergeant Edgar Markosian, a conscript, destroyed ten enemy tanks in just five days during the last Arsakh war. On October 4, in the heat of a battle, 23 years old artilleryman Edgar was awarded the highest state title in Arsakh, hero of Arsakh. Edgar is a friendly guy, but he remains tightly when talking about his heroism. He believes that there are many young people who performed exceptional heroic deeds on the front, but their stories often go untold. After graduating from Polytechnic University, he was accepted into a free master's program, but decided to fulfill his duty to the homeland before continuing his studies. Edgar says, serving in the army is the duty of every young Armenian. I don't like to be in debt, if not me or my friend, who will ensure the security of our country. The intellectual lawyer of humanity has always emphasized the importance of language and the preservation of its integrity. Mikhail Nalbandian said, Enlightenment in a foreign language is a lie. In such a situation, you will land your children from you. Their children will be Armenians in name only, and future generations will find it unnecessary to bear this name. Therefore, be responsible and let your native language be heard in your schools. Russian writer Alexander Kuprin noted, Language is the history of a people. Language is the path of civilization and culture. Therefore, the study and preservation of the Russian language is not idle activity caused by unemployment, but an urgent necessity. Every nation and people can evaluate the significance of these words for their own language. Ken Hale, an American linguist engaged in the study and preservation of indigenous languages, as well as the protection of the political rights of speakers of these languages, emphasized, when languages die, culture die. The world essentially becomes a less interesting place, but at the same time, we are sacrificing thousands of years of knowledge and intellectual achievements. We Armenians bear the greatest responsibility because we are the sole bearers of an exclusive language, and we have the obligation to pass on thousands of years of golden Armenian to future generations, overcoming the temptation to prioritize trendiness. The Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe has adopted a resolution and consultation on ensuring free and safe access to the Berzo Road. Ruben Rubinian, special representative of the Republic of Armenia to the Armenia-Turkey dialogue process and vice president of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, announced this on his Facebook page. Recently, PACE voted and adopted the resolution and consultation on ensuring free and safe passage through Berzo. The Baku delegation made every effort to change the resolution or prevent its adoption, but there attempt were unsuccessful. Around 60 amendments proposed by them were rejected and the resolution was adopted. Contrary to Baku's claims, the PACE resolution clearly acknowledges that there is no free and safe movement on the Berzo Road. The resolution primarily addresses the humanitarian and human rights consequences to the blockade of the Berzo Road by the authorities in Baku. It emphasizes the urgent need for the immediate reopening of the Berzo Road and the dispatch of the international fact-finding mission to Artsakh. The the resolution calls on the Baku authorities to promptly implement the judgments of the European Court of Human Rights and the International Court of Justice and to restore the supply of electricity and natural gas to Artsakh. Furthermore, Baku is urged to abandon the hostile and threatening rhetoric directed towards Armenians. We are delighted to invite you to the inauguration of a Hachkar or cross stone, a symbol of Armenian art and culture, brought all the way from Armenia. The work will be inaugurated on Sunday, June 25 at 11.30 a.m. in the Jardin Public, Gordeaux Verdun, 33,000 Bordeaux. The ceremony will be attended by Monsieur Pierre Hurmig, the Armenian ambassador to France, Hasmik Dolmadjan, the primate of the Diocese of France of the Armenian Apostolic Church, the very reverend father, Grigor Hachatarian. We hope to see many of you. There 
leaders so share this historic moment. The government of Western Armenia appreciates the presence of Armenian cultural symbols in French cities. Stone crosses have a special value in Armenian art, perpetuating the mystery of the stone dragons from pre-Christian times. It was with this understanding that our enemies waged a constant struggle against the manifestation of any Armenian cultural value, working first to eliminate the trace of the indigenous people and, if possible, to appropriate them as their own culture. The same thing happened with the Khachkars of Nakhijewan, when the Baku authorities destroyed up to 10,000 Khachkar in 1998-2006. As we know, in the case of this flagrant manifestation of cultural vandalism, the president of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, and the head of the Foundation for the Study of Armenian Architecture, Samvel Karapetian, lodged a complaint against the Baku authorities with the ACHR. Their Sim High platform made a press statement against the planned dam pond project in Kalechik village of Hoza district of Dersim, which will completely submerge the village. Their Sim High platform made a statement on the planned dam pond project and stated that they will fight against the destruction of historical and cultural assets. The statement made at the platform building was attended by the platform members as well as writer Devrim Takinoglu. Their Sim High platform spokesperson Ahmed Balkis read the statement. The village of Segetik is an important living space in the Dersim region with its historical values and cultural heritage. In addition to joint visits with the Alevi community, there are historical chapels and rock tombs belonging to Armenians in the village. The structures and artifacts are important elements that should be protected as our cultural heritage. However, with the implementation of the pond project, it is clear that these historical structures will be damaged and the natural habitat of the village will be destroyed. Underlining the nature and life are the most sacred assets, Balkish said. If the pond project is realized, water resources and vegetation in the village will be greatly affected. Natural balances will be disrupted and the ecosystem will be destroyed. In addition, our livelihoods based on agricultural activities will be jeopardized and the living standards of the village people will be negatively affected. We call on the authorities and decision makers, consider the negative impacts on the pond project on nature and life, respect the historical structures and focus on environment environmentally friendly alternatives that will not harm the living spaces of the village people, said the statement. The State Service for the Protection of the Historic Environment of the Republic of Artsakh has reported the government in Baku is converting the Berzor Surpampartsman church into a mosque. This forced expropriation of history represents the destruction of cultural identity, religious intolerance, and distortion. The Berzor Surpampartsman church was established on the initiative of Alexan Hakopian, the first head of the Kashatak district administration. Construction was completed in 1998, and the Dome Cross was consecrated on May 3rd. 31, 1998. The architect of the church is Haratia Gasparian. Father Atanas has served as the parish prize since the church opening day, and since 2019, Father Benjamin Zatorian has been the parish prize. The government of Western Armenia constantly voices the anti Armenian policy of the Baku authorities, which they pursue at the behest of Turkey. The transformation of the Church of Holy Ancession into a mosque in Berzor is a continuation of this policy. People deprived of their own culture can only create their own history and culture through this way. All this is temporary. Artsakh people will return to their native territories, restoring their rights in their own land. The young Russian cosmonaut of Armenian origin Harutyun Kiviryan is in Armenia. He visited the Tsitsarak Abert Memorial today, June 22. In a conversation with a new Sayam reporter, Harutyun Kiviryan said he knew about the genocide against Armenians from what he had read and what his parents and even more so his grandfather and grandmother had told their parents. My ancestors lived during the genocide, passed on information and recounted these events. My grandfather would talk about his relatives, how someone had escaped the shooting, how he had escaped from Western Armenia to Russian territory. How it had all happened, he added. He said their great pain was reflected in the stories felt by all the Armenian people. So the memory and this memorial are very important. I came here to pay tribute to all the victims who suffered during the genocide, the astronaut added. Kiviryan also said that he still tries to communicate in Armenia with his parents at home. When I am away from home for a long time, I forget a bit, but when I come back, I register again and I can communicate 
communicate well, I understand. I understand half of the literary language, especially when they speak fast. I'm also trying to study the literary language, he says. Kivirian wished everyone, especially young people, to always set high goals that they can achieve. I also want to always have the opportunity to achieve these goals, to move forward, to develop. Development is always important for any person, for any country, he added. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. Mm -hmm. 